If your videos are stuck at zero views, getting no search traffic and no one's clicking, don't rush to start a new channel just yet. In this video, I'm gonna show you some killer AI tools we use to boost views and make video production way easier. The newest addition to our toolbox is Sora, a huge problem for creators worldwide is finding or shooting footage. And each stock video platform wants money for subscriptions. Sure, our grid is only $30, but what if you add a couple of such subscriptions? We, for example, Example, pay more than $200 for subscriptions to stock video platforms. Sora costs $200 and not a penny more. So even financially, it makes sense to use Sora. Instead of spending hours looking for videos in the right resolution that show exactly what you want, it's much easier to just generate the video from scratch. Sora was trained on all stock videos in existence, almost all commercials, movies, and who knows what else. So it technically should be able to generate you any video you want if you prompt it correctly correctly, of course. And by the way, we just made a huge guide for Sora that teaches you everything you need to know to start. So check it out. With Sora, I can just pick the aspect ratio, resolution, and length of the clips, type in my description, and get a ready to use video. Right now, we're just experimenting with Sora in our YouTube agency. Learn the ropes, but soon I'm pretty sure it will become a big part of our video production pipeline. What I like about Sora is how consistent it is. In the past, I've reviewed a couple of video generators, but none of them were this consistent. Sora can get really good in some cases and pretty bad in others. It's all about prompting. But if you know how to use Dolly, you won't get lost here. Though prompting and overall algorithm is a bit different. Generally, my advice to you right now would be to go easy on action. Don't try to cram as much movement and dynamics into one shot. Sora can mess it up fairly easily. B-rolls you're gonna use will be short anyway, so be sure to give detailed descriptions of the videos themselves. Right now, Sora can't generate animated graphics that would be good enough to be used in videos, so B-rolls are the way to go. And if for some reason you can't come up with a prompt, you can always animate your image. But beware, the results might get wanky. It all depends on your prompt and the image you upload. I found that photos with simple prompts work well and art doesn't. However, there are a few more caveats with Sora. First, the videos have no sound. To me and most of you, this won't be a problem because B-rolls often don't need sound. And second, the maximum resolution is 1080p. My YouTube agency would give our talents all the tools they need to make the best videos out there. And AI is a huge part of their toolbox now. All the tools you see in our videos, we use them. All those image generators, tech generators, SEO, AI tools, all because we figured out that if you're not on the very edge of progress, you're lagging behind. And we strive to be the best and give the best to our clients. If YouTube is your full-time thing, this might not be a big deal. You can dedicate hours to figuring everything out. But if you've got other responsibilities can start to feel overwhelming, even discouraging. That's why so many smart, talented people hesitate to start their own channels. It's not the creativity that holds them back, it's the grind. But here's the good news. You don't have to do it alone. Having someone to share the workload can take a massive weight off your shoulders. And that's exactly what my YouTube agency does. We're here to handle the heavy lifting so you can focus on what you love, being the star of your content. We do all the research and create a custom content plan tailored to you, you will never feel lost or stuck wondering what do I post next. Our designers know exactly how to craft thumbnails that make people want to click. Plus, we'll help you develop a consistent, eye-catching style for your channel. And if you don't know your writing style yet, no worries, we'll handle that. Our scripts will keep your audience hooked from start to finish. And if you're not on James Cameron level in terms of production, our director will guide you through setting up a professional-looking studio on a budget. We'll help set up light camera settings, microphone placement, you name it. We'll edit your videos, optimize them for SEO, and add those hooks that get people watching. Then we'll handle the publishing too. It's a complete package. All you have to do is show up and talk to the camera like Florian Hom. Or if you want to run a faceless channel like Gazun and Chanel, we've got you covered there too. Whatever your style, we'll find a way to make it work and help you stand out. So hit the link in the description, answer a couple of questions, and let's make your channel the next big thing. Sora only gives you 1080p max, and as a YouTuber, I need 4K. 
4K, no exceptions. That's where media.io steps in, and trust me, it's a lifesaver, super easy to use. Here's how it works. In the dashboard, find the video enhancer, upload your low res video, I'm using a 720p clip of myself for this demo, straight out of the camera, no tweaks, nothing. The platform handles everything for you, no need to adjust resolutions or mess with settings, it's all automated. A couple of minutes later, download the upscaled version, and boom, check this out. Low res on the left, upscaled on the right. The difference, night and day, super crisp and perfect for YouTube. I also love this for screen recordings, especially with text. It's not always 100% flawless. Sometimes letters might look a bit off, but let's be real, it miles better than dealing with blurry, unreadable text. Now, the denoise feature. You know how dark scenes end up looking like a noisy, grainy mess? That's because your camera struggles with low light. The denoise tool smooths out all the graininess, making your footage look way cleaner. If your setup doesn't have studio lighting, you will want this in your toolkit. Oh, and frame rates. If your camera drops frames or you're stuck with a low frame rate, media.io has this wild interpolation tool. It uses AI to analyze two frames, track pixel motion, and create an extra frame in between. End result, butter smooth motion, almost like doubling your frame rate. It's also perfect for creating slow-mo. Just remember, high shutter speed and minimal motion blur are key key for best results. They've also got automatic subtitles, noise reduction, video conversion, watermark removal, AI translations. For me, it's been a total time saver. And if you're serious about upping your content game, it's worth checking out. Now, ChatGPT, hands down, is the most used tool in our arsenal today because let's be real, can do everything. Writing full scripts, brainstorming video ideas, polishing text, you name it. ChatGPT's got you covered. Here's how we use it. Our main use, is tweaking scripts to make them conversational and engaging. We've even created a custom setup using custom instructions. In the first field, we tell ChatGPT it's raw, something like a tweak texts to match a conversational style so they resonate with our audience. In the second field, we explain how we want it done, tone of voice, humor, and references to specific YouTubers whose style we admire. The tweaks are usually small but make a huge difference in how natural and relatable the final script feels. Pro tip, mention specific creators as examples, helps ChatGPT really nail the vibe. If you want to master using ChatGPT like we do, check out our full guide as a half hour of packed tips and tricks, and it will level up your process. Titles are crucial, and ChatGPT is a lifesaver here. Coming up with brand new ideas from scratch isn't as strong as suit, but refining, that's where it shines. I usually input a rough title idea and ask for suggestions. After a few back and forth tweaks, we land on a final title that's polished and catchy. When you're juggling hundreds of titles and thumbnail concepts like we are, AI becomes your best friend, helps us balance creativity with consistency, blending human expertise with AI's speed and resourcefulness. While ChatGPT won't create actual thumbnails, its suggestions can be a great jumping off point. I will input the video context and ask for design concepts. Some of these ideas end up as actual thumbnails, and once we've created one, I even upload it back into ChatGPT for feedback. Back. It's like having a second set of eyes that always gives constructive input. When the script's ready, I ask ChatGPT to generate an SEO-friendly video description and suggest keywords. It's not perfect. ChatGPT doesn't pull real-time metrics or search data, but it's great at coming up with solid, popular word combinations. For deeper SEO work, we pair ChatGPT's suggestions with two other tools we swear by. Together, they create a super effective workflow to boost discoverability. Bottom line, ChatGPT's saves us hours, and when paired with the right tools, it makes our process faster, smarter, and way more efficient. When it comes to editing, we like to do it by hand, and color grading is no exception. Though if you are a complete beginner in color science, Runway is the tool I'd recommend. For one simple reason, you don't need to know anything about grading videos. After uploading the video, I just type a description of the look I'm looking for into Runway's prompt box, hit one button, and watch the results. Works 
best with raw, ungraded footage. If you try it on already graded videos, results can be hit or miss. But overall, it's a perfect starting point for anyone looking to upgrade their YouTube videos without diving deep into color grading techniques. Here's another piece of wisdom for you. No matter how stunning your video looks, the audio sucks, it's game over. For me, and I know this is true for a lot of people, bad audio is a deal breaker. And because I'm constantly on the move, getting the audio just right can be tricky. That's where Adobe Podcast comes in clutch. Here's how I use it. I've got a decent mic, but even the best gear isn't foolproof. Sometimes the audio has way too much gain, or it's too noisy, or maybe there is an annoying echo. If I don't catch these issues before I hit record, I might end up having to reshoot everything. So here's my process. I find Fire up Adobe Podcast and head straight to the mic check tool. Then I just talk into the mic, the AI listens and tells me exactly what's wrong. For example, right now it's telling me my setup is a hot mess. I'm too close to the mic, my gain's cranked up too high, there's background noise and the echo is intense. If I hadn't checked, I would be recording garbage audio and nobody wants that. This is just one of the quick, simple checks I do before I even start recording. After recording, I hop into there enhanced speech feature. It's ridiculously simple. I upload my audio file, let the AI do its thing, and boom! Creating your own custom gems, creating your own custom gems. Even with my fancy mic, the improvement is real. Background noises are gone, echo is gone, my voice is crisp, clean, and detailed like it's straight out of the studio. Now, if you're working with a budget mic, like a cheap lavalier, the difference will be even more dramatic. Adobe really nailed it with this AI. It's reliable and super effective. They do have a paid version with extra features, but the free one is already great for most people. Plus, the daily limits are generous enough that you won't run out. We've already done the basic SEO with ChatGPT, but if if you want to take it up a notch, you need a tool that specifically focuses on SEO on YouTube. To make our life easier, our SEO life easier, we like to use Taja AI. It handles almost all video optimization tasks for you. I just paste a link to an unlisted or published video or even upload the video file directly. The AI watches the entire video and generates everything I need to upload it successfully. So the first thing it suggests is title. The suggested title are usually well formatted, catchy, and include strong hooks. I've used a few myself. Below the title, it also generates a description. While these descriptions can sometimes be too long, they are still structured well and include short summary, hashtags, and even time codes. I wouldn't rely on the time codes without double checking them, but having a rough draft saves so much time. It also gives me a list of tags with a relevant score next to each one, which show how well they might help my video rank. The best tags are highlighted in yellow, so if you decide to rewrite the description or title, you know which keywords to prioritize. There's even a section with alternative titles, which I can regenerate as many times as I need. Some of the suggestions are genuinely great, while others are just average. Thumbnails are another area where Taja AI can help you out, can generate two types of thumbnails, one with a random person and text, and one with a snapshot of your face from the video. While these thumbnails aren't quite at a professional level for me, they're surprisingly decent for something generated in seconds. If you're new to thumbnail design, this could easily carry you through your first few videos. In my team, we usually design thumbnails from scratch, but Taj's suggestions are a good way for us to onboard new professionals or get a couple of fresh ideas. By clicking view you repurposed content at the top of the page, I get a selection of clips and shorts generated from my video. While not every clip is perfect, many are ready to use. They come with animated subtitles, hashtags, video lengths, and even a virality score that predicts how well they might perform. It also generates longer clips, though I wouldn't recommend using those unless your content is suited for that format. There are also pre-written social media posts for Twitter, threads, and LinkedIn. In. And all of this is created after pasting just one video link. How crazy is that? Now, let's be real. If your videos aren't getting views, it's probably 
because your ideas, well, maybe kind of suck. No shame, it happens. A huge part of a video success is the idea itself, like at least a third of it. That's why at my YouTube agency, we went all in and got pro subscriptions to ViewStats for every creative director on the team. If you haven't heard of ViewStats, it's a tool created by Mr. Beast Crew, and it's insanely useful for idea research. I specifically use the outliers feature most of the time. I just type in keywords related to a video topic, and bam, it shows me which videos have blown up recently. I can filter by view count, channel size, upload date, and more. This one feature alone saves me at least 10 to 15 minutes of manual research. Not sure how much AI is under the hood, but it's definitely got some serious brains. Now, let's say you've got some video ideas, but aren't sure if they will hit or miss. Here's our move. We set notifications in view stats for specific topics. If a video on that topic goes viral, we jump on it, make our version even better, and ride that wave. We've done this on our tech channel and this channel, it works every time. We also use view stats for thumbnail inspiration, not actual design work, but brainstorming. The feature lets me describe a thumbnail idea, and then it shows similar thumbnails that perform well, or I can upload my own thumbnail and see if anyone has done something similar. I'm guessing there is some AI-powered image recognition going on here, and I'm all for it. I also have their Chrome extension installed. It shows view graphs on every video I watch, compares video on the same channel, highlights the top 10 videos. It's not a game changer, but it's a nice touch. For this exact reason, me and many more people on my team have a vidIQ extension. And in case you didn't know, vidIQ also has AI in it. So the extension is perfect for revealing in-depth stats for a video, views per hour, engagement, outlier score, information about a channel and its growth over time. And there's also an AI coach that can do all sorts of things with open video, summarize it, analyze its hook, guessing why the video performed the way it did. It's really useful. It also lets me remix the video into new ideas, each with a predicted virality score, but again, that's just an extension. The actual website has much more stuff. Keyword research would be something you absolutely have to master if your videos aren't getting views. The easiest way to fix that is by making them more search friendly. Basically, all you do is type in the tag and check its stats. You have to add tags of three types, low competition ones, medium competition, and high competition. First two will give you loads of specific traffic from people searching for a particular thing, while the last will aim more at the general audience interested in the topic. We also use the ideas tab during our research. Sometimes the ideas AI gives can be pretty fresh and with potential for high views. As for the features we don't use often is video optimization, vidIQ takes already published videos and suggests new titles, description tags, all the SEO, basically. Thumbnail analysis here is similar to the one found in ViewStats tool, and that's about it. For newbie, this tool will be invaluable, that's for sure. When you're running a tight ship like we do, or like any YouTuber does, every minute counts. So give these tools a try, and if you are still feeling stuck or overwhelmed after that, you know where to find us. The link is in the description. Let's tackle it together and get you on the fast track to success. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.